Hello everyone, today we are going to solve another lead code problem. This is called as intersection of two arrays 2. So we are given two arrays nums1 and nums2 and we have to find the intersection between them and uh, numbers can be repeated. So in this case for example there are two twos and here also there are two twos so one is one two is mapped to other two and other two map uh, is mapped to uh, this particular two okay so let us try to understand what we can do so there are two parts of this question the first part is when this given numbers are not sorted and um, they are given like in any order okay and if the given number given arrays are sorted so we will try to find two different solutions um, okay so let us look into this first part so this is first part in this particular case the solution is quite simple so we know that we are given this two arrays and we just have to find the intersection now what we can do is suppose we create a result okay and we have to find the intersections in this two arrays so what we can do is we can simply create a hash map of either of this array and then iterate through another array so let us assume that we created a hash map for this okay uh, with frequency so it will be something like um, 1 is 2 and 2 is also 2 okay so this is their frequency and this is the number now when we iterate through nums2 we simply have to check the hash map of value 2 so in this case see this we obtained 2 here now what we do is we simply add it here 2 and reduce this frequency by 1 okay then we go to another 2 then we again find 2 and we reduce the frequency to 0 and here add it and we only check for those hash map whose value is greater than 0 so for example if we had another 2 here somewhere um, we won't be able to add another 2 here because sim simply the frequency of 2 in this case is already 0 so this is our answer which is quite simple now let us try to understand if the given arrays are sorted so these are sorted we simply took the same input and uh, we just sorted this arrays okay now what we can do in this case is we can use simple two pointer solution okay and in this case we had used hash map and in this particular case we can simply use two pointer so what we can do is let us say we call um, the position of this nums1 as pointer1 and this position as pointer2 okay now what we have to simply do is we have to loop through okay we can do a simple while loop where this p1 uh, is less than uh, let us say the length of nums1 is n and this length is m so when p1 is n and p2 is less than m okay so when this condition is true what we can do is we check if the nums1 of p1 is equal to nums2 of p2 
so in this case if both um, the elements at the given pointers is same that means we simply add it in the result okay so add to result now if they are not same so for, for in this case um, this p1 and p2 these are not same so we simply check um, because we know that the arrays are sorted then we check which element is larger so in this case if let us say nums2 of p2 is greater than nums1 of p1 then we understand that this element is larger so that means we simply have to increment this pointer so now this p1 will point somewhere here now again same condition uh, is correct then we go somewhere here with p1 now this p1 and this p2 the, the, both the elements are same okay so we add it to the result so our result is something like this so we add it to the result too then again um whenever we add to the result we increment both p1 and p2 okay so now p1 is here somewhere and p2 is here now again same condition we add it here and that is our answer so this was quite easy now we'll also look into the code and see how we can easily implement this both the solutions so let us go to the code okay so we'll try with the first solution that is the hash map solution so what we can do is we can simply start with the hash map and then add a frequency in this case so for n in nums1 h map of n is equals to h map dot get n 0 plus 1 uh, now next thing is we just have to check if those elements uh, uh, the elements in nums2 are present in the hash map and we simply have to reduce the number so for and in nums2 what we can do is if n in h map and um, h map of n is greater than 0 then what we can simply do is uh, first we have to reduce it the values and also we have to add it in the result so answer dot append and we can append end here and i guess this should do so let us try to run this code and see if it is running so this is accepted so this is working fine we can also submit this code and uh, check if this is correct or not so this is correct now we look into the other solution when the given nums arrays are sorted so let us write the two pointer solution um, let us sort the arrays let us take the pointers p1 p2 as zeros initially and let us also take n and m as length of nums1 and length of nums2 now while p1 is less than n and p2 is less than m uh, 
we can simply do our check if both the elements are same if nums1 is uh, of p1 equals nums2 of p2 then we can simply increase the pointers both the pointers uh, also add to the answer so p1 or p2 we can do anything here and let us take answer to store a result also uh, now next condition okay we can simply do continue here um if nums1 of p1 is greater than nums2 of p2 then that means we have to increment the pointer p2 uh, yes uh, is there something else to add okay i assume no let us just check it once I guess we are missing something in this case okay so if both are same then we increment both ah, okay else condition we forward to write p1 plus equals to 1 because if now nums2 is greater than uh, nums1 then, then we have to increment uh, pointer p1 also to get a greater value in uh, nums1 of p1 so that it can match to nums2 of p2 let us now check this code yeah this is working fine and we can even submit this and this should also work fine okay i guess you understood the uh, solutions both the solutions so first we looked into this intersection uh, without having the array sorted and the other solution was sorted arrays so so the when the arrays are not sorted in this case we used hash map so that means our um, time complexity for this solution was um big o of let us say if the size of this is m and this is n so we are using hash map for nums of one then let us say m we can do this and uh, okay m plus n time complexity and space is um, big o of m or we can even do like something like optimizations minimum of m uh, comma n. okay and uh, for this particular case was if the if we assume that the arrays given are already sorted and we are not calculating uh, time required to sort this okay then this becomes um, time complexity as uh, minimum big O of minimum of m comma n and uh, space is big O of 1 I guess because we are not using any external space yeah but in case if we also consider this sort then this will easily be big O of n log n um n log n plus m log m something like this okay thank you for your time